Hello and welcome from Caravan Salon 2020. This is the 2021 range from Weinsberg, uh, which I'm going to show you to the accompaniment of a press conference and Hoover's in the background. So if I get too boring, you can listen to either the press conference or indeed the Hoover's. Now, it says here that this vehicle's new. I don't think it is. It looks to me like one they've already done. Uh, and there it is, for example. But we'll have a look at that one as I come to finish it. This is the Caribou 600 MQH, six meters long, two and a five wide, but this is the, 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 the interesting bit. 308 high, 238 standing height in places so you must be pretty tall if you need 238 centimeters of standing height so it kicks off at 40, just under 46,000 this one is 56,223 now I refer to this about four years ago, I think it was, as a cathedral. Or well, the layout is that like that of a cathedral. You've got really stacks of space at the back here, and uh, these high um, storage units uh, are quite good as well. But, 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 look at that. You've got this space here. It has to be sort of because of the, the space at the, the um, you got the slope outside so it's come in but I don't quite understand why it comes in that much there may be a good reason uh, but I don't know what it is and also okay there is there is a ledge it's relatively deep but I think it ought to be deeper in my opinion got a ledge up there with what appears to be I think a USB but you the space at the top there and there is wasted. Wasted space, what are you supposed to do with that? I'd have put like something like uh, some kind of elasticated thing or something like that, which stop things falling down. You can sort of use that space there for your you know, winter coat or something like that, something you don't need uh, all that often. Now, let's come round here and show you this end. Now, here we have a 95 litre fridge. We've got a bit of storage down there as well, which you can see, possibly. I hope we've rummed it the other way. But there, what the clever bit is this bed up there. So you can get four people in here. Now it's only a six metre van, but because it goes up so high, maybe, just maybe, it wouldn't be so claustrophobic. This is just about the only time I like a bed over the table. Uh, I think it saves a lot of space, gives a lot of space. But, um, anyway, what I find a bit odd is this, ta is this toilet. It's a bit like they've uh, stuck a, one of these portable toilets <laughs> inside. You've got all this space at the top there, but it's not being used. Now, I do appreciate that there aren't many people who are 200 and something centimeters in height, but you can actually get up, by, you can stand on the chairs or on the bed and get stuff down. So it's got a water filter system. In fact, they started doing that last year. The um, standard 102 litre water tank. Infantry Frigo. So it's a two way fridge. Electric fridge, I guess. LED light, LED lighting, sorry, touch fu function. Oh, one thing, I, I noticed that they were 
advertising this one, it's about having these uh, mosquito nets. One thing about this dog, let's say, it's, it's very well fitted, in my opinion. So, double floor with a little bit of storage space down here. Which I'm sure we'll go back in. I like the layout in general, but I want to. I look like the idea of a two person van. So, well, if it's a two person van, what can you do instead of putting an extra bed back there? I've got one or two other, not so much ideas because they're, they're solutions from the here. But maybe that could have some, be some type of storage space or something like that. I don't know if there's particular needs. Uh, don't know, don't know, I'm just sort of throwing out ideas. Oh, the kitchen, well, it's a small one, I've seen these before. I'll show it to you quickly. Two burners, and in here there's a little sink. So you've got uh, two roof lights. Okay, this is, this one here is the earlier version, 600MQ8, that seems like the same to me, from four, just another 46, 58,121, what is the difference? Like the, the competitions they used to have, like uh, spot the difference between two photographs, you know, between two videos, what's the difference? Hey, we'll have a walk around. Well, there's it's the publicity for it. Maybe I need to listen to the press conference to find out. Oh, 10 year water ingress guarantee. Okay, there's a pile of rubbish on the floor, but uh, the setting the stands up, uh, that's in no way a reflection on the company. <laughs> Fifty years of anniversary the legendary CUV caravanning utility vehicle since 1969 so in fact it's 52 years now and I still don't know what a caravanning utility vehicle is I think that sign there saying new has just been left here Right, so, what do you think? You like this van or not? Or would you rather have something else? Hey, do you want to have a quick walk around? This is just a quick one. And, oh, right. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you this one here with this other solution for carrying a stack of stuff. But this one doesn't have such a high roof. But the bed is absolutely up high. Alright, so there's the bed up there. Oh, 
and I'll show you why the bed's up there. Because you've got all that storeroom. Storing room, the garage was going to. Now, how about mixing this one with the one we just saw? With the bed in that position. Would that work? I don't know, maybe it wouldn't, but that was just a, just an idea I'm sort of throwing out at the moment. Of course, uh, this one's this only six meters. The, the, the one we just saw is 636 centimetres in length. Right, so I'll just show you the back of the hall here. We've got some caravans there on the right. And because of this year there's more space, things are spaced out more because of the COVID situation. And this hall here is brand new. It was under construction when I was here last year. And it looks different. The lighting's much better in here than it is in the other halls. Uh, modern. I think it's quite nice. So, thanks very much for watching, I shall leave you now, but there will be another video at the same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching and all the best from Dusseldorf.